So we've seen that friction can move electrons from one object to another. We can actually work out which way these electrons are going to do by conducting a series of experiments to work out which materials tend to gain electrons and which ones tend to lose electrons. So when people have done such experiments, they've come up with what's known as a triboelectric series. And so the substances which tend to become most positive by losing electrons are up the top and the ones which tend to become most negative by gaining electrons are down the bottom. So an example of a triboelectric series is hair and oily skin as most positive, then nylon and dry skin, glass, fur, silk, wool, polystyrene, rubber, PVC, silicon, and ebonite as the most negative. Now, if we choose two materials, say glass and silk, we can work out which one's going to become positive and which one negative by comparing their relative position on the triboelectric series. So because glass is up above silk, it means that glass will become positive while the silk will become negative. So the glass will give electrons to the silk. So one way that we'll be making use of the triboelectric series in just a little bit is to help explain how a Van de Graaff generator works.